This is Europe's biggest and priciest building site, Hinkley Point in Britain's southwest. What will be home to the UK's first nuclear powered reactors in a generation. A vast enterprise on such a scale, the site's effectively become a small town. We've got over 1,600 people on the site, but from here it really steps up towards uh, what we call J0 when we actually pour the raft for the, for the nuclear island. To get there, three million cubic metres of earth have been moved, about half of what will be the final amount. And the first concrete has been poured, a significant moment of permanency. And up till now we've been moving rock and soil around, we've been building uh, ancillary features like the concrete batching plant and roads and services. Um, now is the time to build the real plant and this is the first section of the real power station coming together in front of our eyes. It's taken years getting to this point, a remarkable joint venture involving the governments of the UK, China and France. Such a gargantuan project, it needs its own jetty for building materials shipped by sea. Running at full capacity, the reactor will provide around 7% of Britain's energy needs. British consumers controversially repaying the initial cash outlay in higher energy costs. Nuclear industry insiders saying it's a fair deal. A lot of claims have been made that it's twice the current rate, and that's true. But the current rate is actually unusually low. I think it's a, it's, it's a good price. For the British and Chinese governments, Hinkley Point could act as a possible trigger for a further eight nuclear power stations, some entirely paid for and built by China. It could prove to be not just a renaissance for the nuclear industry here, but also the beginning of long-term industrial links between China and the United Kingdom. Richard Bestick, CGTN, London.